All right, today we are going to be looking at our next map dealing with what's called a Robinson projection map, as you can free see from the title. A projection map is a simple way of trying to make a flat surface from a round globe. Now, as you probably have figured out by now, the best map that we can have of the Earth is a globe because it best represents the real shape and the real dimensions of the Earth. But not everybody can carry a globe in their pocket or in their backpack. So instead, cartographers have tried to come up with ways of making our round Earth onto a flat piece of paper. The Robinson projection is one way of doing that. This particular projection you can see is in the shape of an oval with kind of curved sides on each side. The problem with all projections though is that you're going to get some distortion effects where things start getting stretched and pulled into different directions which cause the map to be a little different than the actual shape of a real globe. It's trying to like pull an orange and peel an orange apart and make it flat. You can't do it. So you're going to get some rips and some tears. This projection shows the shapes of the Earth, different continents, to be accurate. However, the further you get away from the equator, the tighter things start to get, particularly the oceans. Or in this case, the oceans are actually not so much thinned out as much as they're stretched and filled in. Another obvious discrepancy or distortion is way at the bottom in Antarctica. If you look at the south, Antarctica looks huge, when in fact Antarctica is really not that big. This again is because we're taking the earth and we're peeling it away and looking at all of Antarctica as it's unfolded on this type of a projection map. It's important to understand and know that projection maps do have discrepancies and depending on which projection we're looking at will determine the type of distortion or discrepancy we're going to see. The other thing you need to point out about this map or notice is that the latitude and longitude lines are lined up a little bit differently than we've seen on previous maps. This time the lines of latitude are separated by 15 degrees in each direction, north and south, and the lines of longitude are separated by 15 degrees also. However, they're only marked or labeled every other line. So knowing all this information, you should be able to use this map to help you with this week's questions.